Hello Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, really any placement of Leo. This is going to be your reading for February 1st through the 15th, 2022. Welcome back subscribers. Welcome if you are new. The link below will take you to my website. I offer clairvoyant psychic readings and healings as well as distance energy therapy. It does not matter where you live. I have clients all around the world. I've been doing this for four years full time. Um, I also offer a 15% discount for your very first healing session with me. So you'll see the link below for that as well. All right, let's get your overall energy, Leo. You've got, I love it, the elephant spirit. Learn from the past. Beautiful. Learn from the past. Very interesting message to be coming up now. I feel um, you're kind of going over uh, things that you've learned, but also I'm seeing new situations popping up for you that you're going to notice that you're reacting to in a different way. So, um, and, and that's going to show you how much you've grown and how much awareness that um, has come through to you. So you've learned your lessons um, and you still may have some lessons to learn as we always do, but really what I'm seeing you here as well, just with uh, also the elephant there, elephants to me have so much wisdom. So you're really using the wisdom um, from previous situations to um, react or respond in a different way than maybe you would in the past. And that's a really powerful place to be in, Leo. All right, let's see what else we've got. So first three cards are just in general for all Leos. Uh, next three cards will be your specific person. What do I need to know about your specific person, Leo? And thirdly, the single Leos. What do I need to know Whoops. about single Leos? What is in the works for you? Okay, first up, Leo, we've got, so this is for all Leos. Full card first, Page of Wands and the Moon card. Wow, so two major Arcana cards around this page here. So definitely um, an opportunity for growth and expansion. And the Page of Wands really is about um, like a passion project, really excited for something, feeling inspired, feeling, um, you know, invigorated or like ready for what's next. And it's interesting that it's surrounded by the moon card and the fool card. Because the, the fool card is really about taking a chance, taking a leap of faith, you know, um, fate, divine timing, things just like ready to kind of move. And then the moon card is our deeper inner desires and wishes that are kind of buried underneath maybe some fear and anxiety on the surface. So I feel like you're kind of at a choice point here, Leo. Are you going to take a chance and leap forward or are you going to allow maybe some fear um, stop you, block you, or slow you down a little bit? So the Fool card, again, it's kind of like you've done your work, you've let go of some of the heaviness that you've been carrying, you're like really ready to move forward, but then on the other side, there's that bit of fear, fear of change, fear of the unknown, um, fear of failure, fear of like taking that chance, but what I'm hearing with the Moon card is underneath those fears or just on the other side of those fears is really exactly what it is that you want and need, Leo. So I'm hearing the message that you just need to take a chance here because um, whatever this wand is representing for you, this could be a new project, a new partner, a new living situation, a new job opportunity, something new in your life is bringing change and bringing an opportunity for kind of like a fresh start or leveling up in a way. So that's why you're having like this inner pull of like wanting to push forward, but also the fear kind of holding you back. So really be aware of that, Leo, and maybe tune in because remember your overall energy is learned from the past. Is there opportunities from the past that maybe your fear stopped you and you ended up missing out? That is just one example. Or in the past, did you leap too soon and you ended up in something that you had to clean up or maybe it wasn't the right thing for you um, because you were a little bit careless in that decision. So what are you learning from the past here with this new opportunity showing up for you? Um, I'm strongly feeling that this is something that just facing the fears and looking at where the fears are is going to help you get to the other side of that which is what brings the growth and brings the transformation. 
Okay, for those of you dealing with a specific person, this is so beautiful. We've got two aces, ace of cups, ace of wands, and the temperance card. There is or has been a very deep healing happening between you and your specific person. Um, kind of like the old has fallen away and you guys are moving into a new chapter, a new phase, a new part of your journey. The temperance card really brings balance, harmony, and healing. It's the blending of two extremes. It's the balancing of masculine and feminine, um, things like that. And then with the two aces, my goodness, ace of cups, the emotional connection, the joy, the love, the romance, and then you've got the ace of wands, the passion, the inspiration, the chemistry, the attraction, all those really yummy feelings that are so exciting to share with a specific person. So um, you're really at the start, Leo, with this person uh, to really let things flourish, to let things heal, to let things grow. And it really doesn't matter if, if this person is somewhat new or it's somebody that you've been married to for 20 years. Like, the energies are shifting and you're moving into a more harmonious way of being together. I'm really seeing um, your energies kind of like flow. So a beautiful balance of masculine and feminine, light and dark, the good and the bad all blended um, to really bring a lot of peace and harmony in this connection. So for those of you who are still letting some of that kind of balance out, just know that this new beginning, these fresh starts, these new opportunities to see and feel and experience um, things differently with your specific pers uh, person is very available for you. Um, and I love that it's, you know, the first couple weeks of the number two month. We've got Valentine's Day. There's just February to me is such a power month of like um, relationships and partnerships and really working together. So you have an opportunity for that beautiful, beautiful energy. Okay. Uh, lastly, we've got four singles. Leos who are single, we've got six of pentacles, five of cups, and three of cups. Okay, very interesting here. I always find it so fascinating when the five and the three of cups both show up together. So six of pentacles here, for those of you who are single, this is a message to really be mindful of maybe not getting into a situation that is out of balance with giving and receiving. So if you're doing all of the effort and the other person is not, it's like being aware of that. Um, I don't really see that being fulfilling for you at this time. It leaves a feeling of... Um, being underappreciated or maybe taken advantage of or just a really off balance connection here. So uh, when you are dating or if you are open to meeting somebody, really being aware of that from the get go. Does it feel equally invested? Um, or is there breadcrumbing? Or is somebody just kind of like, you know, connecting because they're bored and they don't have anybody else to connect with, you know, things like that. Really be mindful of like your self-worth and the energy and the effort putting in. Also, Leo, single Leos, I'm seeing a message here around changing your perspective. Maybe you're a little bit caught up on a relationship that has ended or how you're just tired of being single or like something here with these three spilled cups that are representing like loss or disappointment or sadness or something like that. And what's happening when the focus is over here is you're missing these two beautiful cups that are fully intact here. Um, and I'm also seeing these three cups as these three cups. So you're missing an opportunity, Leo, to, um, to be social, to have fun, to be out with friends, to be enjoying uh, like more social settings and bringing some more fun and lightheartedness and enjoyment of being around others. You know, if we're too focused on what has happened or what has caused us disappointment and loss, we're going to miss the opportunities that are right in front of us. So that is why I always find it so interesting when the three of cups shows up with the five of cups because I just think these three cups really, um, if looked at from a different perspective, could actually be the blessing and not the sadness of what has been lost, if that makes sense. So um, with the three of cups, though, I just also feel, Leo, you're going to have a much better chance of meeting somebody and um, connecting with someone new if you are out socializing, if you are doing the things that feel good, make you happy, being around others, um, being out and about, etc. 
okay? So um, you could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. I've also got a lot of fire energy out here. So um, if it's not another Leo, it could be a, a Sagittarius or an Aries. I've also got Cancer energy um, out here as well, okay? So let me see what other messages we've got for you. Right, Leo, you've got Archangel Michael. I love it. This is showing you that you are very, very protected in your journey right now. You're protected to take a chance, to have the clarity that you want, to manifest what it is that you're needing. And with this energy, the overall energy of um, you know, learning from the past, you're doing things differently. You are expanding and you are growing. <coughs> excuse me my goodness um so with the learning from the past it's like you're protected here to do things differently with the energy of archangel michael so i really love those two cards together for you here okay let me get you a spirit animal message All right, Leo, you've got the unicorn, infinite possibilities. You are the sovereign of the seen and unseen world. The magic of love surrounds you. Beauty transform you. Listen to the spirits of light and abandon the darkness. Go beyond the ordinary and become the legendary. Ooh, I love this for you, Leo. I'm also noticing the butterflies on here because you are kind of going through a transformation. You're coming into a different level. You're doing things differently. You're recognizing patterns and up-leveling them and all of that good stuff that helps um, kind of abandon the darkness and bring you into more lightness, which is really beautiful. And um, you also have two, three major arcana cards out here. So again, those always bring growth and transformation. So um, infinite possibilities are yours. I hope these messages have resonated with you. If not, no worries. You can always watch your, your moon sign, your rising, or really any other placement of Leo. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, thank you for the comments below and the likes. Those truly do just make me so happy. And then if you missed the intro, I offer clairvoyant psychic readings and healings as well as distance energy um, therapy. It does not matter where you live. I have clients all around the world. Uh, we'll schedule according to your time zone and the link below to my website, all the information is there. I've been doing this full time for four years now. Um, and I do offer a 15% discount off your very first healing session with me. So whether that's a clairvoyant psychic reading and healing or the distance energy therapy, um, the discount is there for you. So you can take advantage of that if you feel called to do so. Otherwise, Leo, I'm wishing you a beautiful start to February and I will see you guys back here for the second half of February readings. Take care.